So just going back to your question with regards to um, whether or not basements are allowed, the, the basic policy is yes, basements are allowed. It, it's become a lot more difficult to build them and it's very expensive to get the permission. So we need to have the, the hurdle of getting the planning permission is just a lot greater. We need to provide a lot more reports. We need to have soil assessments. We need to have basement impact assessments. We need to have construction traffic management plans. We need to have SUDS calculations. SUDS calculations, just drainage, water drainage. Um, and, and all of these reports can cost an enormous amount of money, which you then submit to the council to seek permission. Now, the policy of this specific council, Warburg of, uh, of Kensington Chelsea, is very specific on their policy. That you are allowed to build a basement. It's just, it'll take you time and it'll be very expensive to actually get the reports and the permissions in place. But you can build a basement. And should for any reason a planning permission get denied, you can appeal that and it will be successful. The policy um, was in 2014 had changed and shifted from double basements to single basements. Um, and the policy again has now been formalized so we have to follow a lot stricter guidelines but you are allowed to build a basement now you just need to be careful if it's a listed building you won't be able to build or it's very on a very very rare occasion will they allow you to build under a listed building I think I only know of one or two examples um, if at all you're allowed to build in, in gardens 50% of the garden you're allowed to build um, a basement in. In this muse house, in this case, there is no garden and the property line would end where the house line ends, so the basement would have to be directly below the footprint of the muse house. For the shell only, you're looking at 500 to 600 per square foot. And then for the fit out, it really depends on the client. As some clients spend, I've spent 800 pounds per square foot and I've spent 200 per square foot. It really depends ultimately what the client's brief is and what they're looking for and how much they want to spend on materials. If it's a straightforward basic investment and you're looking to put maybe a gym in there or you're looking to put a media room in there, that's one thing. But if it's if, if you have a garden and you can create light wells and bedrooms and whatnot, it, it that then becomes a completely different kettle of fish.